Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Kobe and I'm super duper excited that you thought enough of me to come and join me on this new video. This is my very first video on YouTube and I thought what better way to get to know me than to get to know me. <laughs> so stay tuned, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss any of the things that we have coming up, okay? See you soon. Let's get it popping. So my favorite thing is when people do like the 10 quick facts about me, 10 questions about me. So I asked, asked my oldest sister, um, what are 10 questions that I felt like you guys would want to know? And we got them. So I'm going to leave them on the screen so you guys can follow along, but I have them on my phone. So let's start with the basics. My name is Kobe Simone Jarwin. I'm 25 and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. You guys can call me Cobes. That's the only nickname we've thought of this far. <laughs> In the 25 years of life that's all we got <laughs> so number one is where I went to college and I went to the University of Louisville for seven years in Louisville Kentucky I have my bachelor's degree in communication and I have my master's degree in sport administration so go cards <laughs> I also which this leads into my second question but I also danced at the University of Louisville for five years I was a Louisville Ladybird and I won eight national titles with them which you know we love to see okay my next question is how long I've been dancing I've been dancing for 22 years I think I started when I was three and I started dancing at Malone Studios and I moved to Kathy's Dance Studios then um, Spotlight Dance Studio and that's where I graduated from and then went on to the University of Louisville so yeah 22 ish years um, I've been a coach a choreographer a consultant all the things for about seven going on eight years now and I love doing that just as much. Um, I want to give a little shout out um, all my girls at Floyd Central High School and Highland Hills Middle School. Love you girls so much. And all my girls that are now in college, like that's so weird that I coached girls that are now old enough to be in college. But I love you guys so much and those are my kids. Anytime you know I'm talking about a dancer, I refer to them. Those are my kids. Um, number three is how will you know me? So if you don't know me from Instagram or just being, you know, around the city, I also was on a little TV show on Lifetime called So Sharp, and it was the behind the scenes of my college dance team and our road to nationals um, in Daytona Beach, Florida, where we double titled for the second time in a row that year. And it was my filmed my junior year. I think it aired my senior year in college. And let me tell you, sometimes I miss it, and sometimes I'm just like, eh much rather do without it but I want to give a huge shout out to my producer Kelly she put up with me okay she she's the goat all right love her so question number four is two questions in one but it's what's my favorite makeup brand and what is my favorite clothing brand my favorite makeup brand is MAC Cosmetics that's the first makeup brand I ever used and I actually have on a lipstick from them it's in the color reverence and I just, I love MAC. They're bold, they're iconic, they're, their collaborations are unmatched, um, but they're great. I freaking love MAC. I still go and shop there all the time. But like I said, my very first time ever wearing makeup was MAC back in the 2000s, like early 2000s for dance. And then my favorite clothing brand is Adidas in college. That's who we were sponsored by. So all of my sweats, all my leggings, well, some of my leggings, <laughs> um, t-shirts, um, jackets, pullovers, shoes from Adidas. So that's my, that's my place. All right. Number five is the one makeup product that I can't live without. That would be lashes. <laughs> I'm wearing Lashies by Moxie Lash in the style money. Cause we like monies. Um, and the style money and I have a discount code with them. It's 10% off. KS Drama 10. I'll leave it down on the description box for you guys to go shop with them. I love them. They're magnetic lash. They make life so much easier, but that's my favorite. I can do lash extensions. I can do strip lashes. I can do the individuals. I love lashes and I have to have them in my life. Like I can go with no makeup, full face. If I have my lashes on, I'm good to go. Okay, number six is what I do for a living outside of being a YouTuber and a social media influencer. I work in public relations um, for colleges and universities and I absolutely love it. I love my job. I love the people I work with. I love my clients. It's great. It's one of the best decisions I've made for myself career-wise in this crazy set of years that we've been a part of. Um, number seven is what would I be doing if I wasn't working in PR? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> What would I be 
probably doing if I wasn't working in PR. I have two answers for that. I would either be a scientist. I just knew that I was going to be an anthropologist going into college. Like I knew I was going to study bones for the rest of my life and figure out how people died from it. Like that's what I knew I was going to be doing. And then three weeks into my courses, I was like, this is not what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> this is not in my life path. Like I'm not going to be doing that. So um, that's how I ended up in public relations. Second would be a historian. I love history. You can catch me watching the History Channel ID, like all of that randomly. I love war history, presidents, um, U.S. history. I love talking or like even world history. I love watching the shows that are like about abandoned places and like what happened before they were abandoned, things like that. So that's like my guilty pleasure. Like I love, love, love history. So if I wasn't in PR, I would either be a scientist or a historian. Both require a lot of reading. <laughs> okay, so number eight is probably my all-time favorite question for anyone to ever ask me for an icebreaker, for a meeting, cocktail hour, anything. I feel like this question gets thrown around a lot. I always have the same answer, but I absolutely love this question. I think it's a great conversation starter. And it is, who is the one person you'd like to have a conversation with, either dead or alive? And my answer is always my grandfather, my dad's dad, the man that I'm named after. And I'm also his favorite, but <laughs> we'll keep that one between you and me. Um, I think he's great. He is one of my favorite people in this whole world. He passed away when I was 10. And a lot of the times I just wonder, is he proud of me? Does he think what I'm doing is cool? I often wonder what he would think about social media um, and how he would feel about me doing this. Um, I think I kind of followed in his footsteps a little bit. I'm somewhat of a teacher. I work in academics. Um, I'm a coach. I work in athletics. And that was his realm. He was a teacher. He was a coach. He was a farmer. Like, my granddad was everything to me. So that's who I would love to have a conversation with. Comment down below who is the one person, either dead or alive, you would love to have one conversation with as well. Okay, number nine is who are my idols? And these are four black queens, okay? These are my ladies. I love these women, everything they stand for. They're just, uh, they're great to me. Um, they're all creatives. They're all in the entertainment industry and I just, I love them. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna skew them out. Number one is Debbie Allen. She is just, <laughs> phenomenal from all of the shows she's produced and directed um, her dance studio as a choreographer as a creative director producer director actress all of the things she's everything and all the things to me and if I say that about you you you're it in my life okay and that's how these women are to me they're everything and all the things next is Dorothy Dandridge she's one of the first singers that I ever was enamored by like I watched introducing Dorothy Dandridge um, starring Halle Berry and she just embodied her perfectly like she's such class and elegance and she's classic and she's graceful and I just love everything about her she's she's just she's everything and all the things <laughs> next would be Tiana Taylor if you are close to me if you are my best friend if, like if you know me you know I'm obsessed with Tiana Taylor like she is my best friend I know it. I know she don't know it yet, but I know it. And that's all that matters. Okay, we're going to meet someday. But I've been obsessed with her since my Super C16 and her wanting that bike instead of the Range Rover. She's just, she's, she's everything to me as a creative director and a producer and an actress and a singer and a dancer. She's just, her mind, her vision, the way she sees things. It just, oh, I love it. And last but not least, my best girl, Beyonce. I love Beyonce so much. She's an amazing singer to me, but once again, as a creative, just how she can orchestrate her shows and how she sees the vision and how she develops them. They're just, her creative directing mind is just, it's amazing. It's, it's one I wish that I had. All right, my final question, because I get this question a lot, is where do I fall in my family? For whatever reason, people tell me I give off like middle child energy and I don't know why and I need to fix that because I'm definitely the last and I need to be giving off the last child energy, okay? I need y'all to know that I'm the baby, okay? Up in here. Um, I have an older brother and two older sisters. There's 11 years between me and my next sibling. So we have a pretty spread out family and they always did treat me like the little sister that was in the way. And fun fact, y'all was just in my way. 
period okay um but my mom has a lot of siblings my dad has a lot of siblings my grandfather has a lot of siblings so we are a huge family and we love to be around each other joke laugh play cards go on vacation all of the things um i also have four nephews and a niece on the way she's my first niece and i'm so excited i can't wait i've been begging for a niece since my first nephew was born <laughs> who's actually her father. So fun fact, I have a nephew that's 18 months younger than me. I'm 25, about to be 26, and he's 24. So we kind of grew up as brother and sister, and now he's having his own little chicken nugget of his own, and I can't believe that I'm gonna be a great aunt, but like whatever, that's neither here nor there. I still look great, right? Okay. <laughs> um, and she's gonna have a K name, which just makes everything so great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get to know me, this 10 quick facts. Please comment down below all of the things that you want to see from me from vlogs to beauty to hauls to fashion to fitness to dance, whatever it is, please let me know. Okay. I would love to get to know you guys more. So like I said, please comment down below the one person you'd love to have a conversation with either dead or alive. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have the handles right here. <laughs> Um, and connect with me. I would love it. And always like, comment, and subscribe. Duh. Go tell a friend about a friend. Okay. Let me give y'all a little example. Look. Neighbor, we need you to go follow Kobe on YouTube and on Instagram and on Twitter. Okay. That's what, that's what we need to happen. All right. I want this community to grow and I want us to be great friends and just get to know me some more. A little inside of my life, a little bit more than what you see on Instagram. Okay. I can't wait to see you guys for my next video. Peace.